Hello everybody, this is Trophy Shot Outdoors. Today, another ammo video. Side by side comparison of two herders, 12 gauge shells. I've got the, they're both double up buck, so I got the two and a quarter mini buck shot and the two and three quarter just standard two and three quarter double up buck shot. I'll read you the statistics on each box. Uh, we got, of course, they're both 12 gauge, so the mini buck shot is mini buck shot. Is going to be two and a quarter inch shell, 1,250 feet per second, six double up buck pellets. On the other hand, the full size buck, or just two and three quarter, I don't, that's not really full size, but anywho, you got nine double up buck pellets, 1,200 feet per second, and they're two and three quarter shells, inch shells. Obviously, three more pellets in this one. These ones are a little speedier, but you can also fit, depending on the size of your magazine tube on your shotgun. You fit a couple more. I, I can only fit one more on my magazine too, my Remington 870. But it's still an extra shell if you're using them for defense. I'll take a quick look on the inside, show you the side by side comparison of these two shells, just to give you a little look at uh, how the little mini and regular buckshot differs in size. Obviously, on the right here, we have the full size two and three quarter. Here's the two and a quarter. You can definitely see there's a little bit of difference between them. Uh, yeah, but they both work good. There's no like lesser in power between them. Oh, although the shorter one goes faster, the bigger one, like I said, has more hitting power. Both cycle perfectly in the Remington 870. That's my shotgun. But other shotguns, I'm sure they work fine. However, you cannot use these in semi-automatic shotguns, the mini buckshot. Um, you might be able to, but I did a lot of looking around and asking. The mini buckshot are way too short to cycle and eject from the semi-automatic shotguns, whereas these two and three quarter buckshot can. So that's just a little warning. These are ideal for pumps, you know, brake action and and such, and bolt action shotguns if you have one of those. Whereas these can be used in your semi-auto, so think about that before you buy. Of course, these are a little cheaper per box since they are shorter and a little less lead in them. But I can shoot either one of my Remington 870, so I don't really care. I got one of each because these have a little more pellets in them. These are a little cheaper. And I figured I could use them for hunting too because I did a pattern test at 15 and 30 yards with my modified choke just to see what it was. And they were both within a basketball pattern at 15 and 25 yards. So I got a extra full or a full choke. And I'm assuming I can do a little bit better. So within 50 yards, these would be a hunting round too. They're not the three or three and a half inch like buckshot like they have for hunting. Uh, but as it says defense on the box right here. But I know that these could be used for hunting because they do have the power and the pattern wasn't bad so for a close range hunting round in addition to a good defense load you can have it right here with the herders select defense buckshot thank you for watching bye bye